A new report tonight states that Postal Service employees were allowed to take leave from their jobs and still get paid as they campaigned for Hillary Clinton last year. The Postmaster General said today any violations of the law were unintentional. Correspondent Ellison Barber tonight on going postal for Hillary. Good evening, Ellison. Good evening, Brett. These allegations came to light because of one person, a postal worker named Tim Kopp. Investigators say he did something no one else really did, spoke up. Today he told the Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee why. The union is always involved highly in political activities. And I did not want this to be a, a partisan thing uh, by no regards. I wanted it to, to be a thing where the general public does not lose trust with the integrity of the post office. According to the U.S. Office of Special Counsel, the Postal Service did violate federal law by showing an institutional bias towards union-backed candidates when they allowed union workers to take unpaid leave and participate in campaign activities. Investigators say workers did receive compensation through the union's political action committee. The legal violation centered around get-out-the-vote efforts led by one of the nation's largest federations of unions, the AFL-CIO. According to the report, 97 million Members took leave to be part of an AFL-CIO program that sought to help elect Hillary Clinton and other pro-worker candidates. The report points to a union newsletter in the fall of 2016 to show some of that alleged bias, writing, quote, the article tri titled Trump v. Clinton praised Clinton's record and announced the National Association of Letter Carriers' support for the following candidates for U.S. Senate in six priority battleground states. All of those were Democrats. The report says the violations are systemic and likely started in the 90s. A period spanning at least three administrations, several different parties, and five postmasters general. How can you have such long-standing systemic violations of the Hatch Act, and yet nobody's really held accountable? Um, the Act prohibits federal employees from engaging in certain types of political activities, but not all of them. It's an administrative restriction and not a criminal statute. The National Association of Letter Carriers tells Fox News they reject these findings and do not see a violation of the Hatch Act. But the Postal Service says they're already correcting the issues outlined by the Office of Special Counsel. OSC says they aren't taking disciplinary action because the problems were not exclusively attributable to any particular employee. Employee. Brett? Allison, thank you.